Hi crochetiers, um, today I'd like to show you how to make the Lazy Daisy uh, blanket, baby blanket. It's a free pattern, it's on my list of free patterns uh, in the easy crochet section uh, and I will put a link on below um, also uh, to, uh, to download the, the free PDF pattern. It's a Yarnspirations pattern and a few of you have asked me uh, to demonstrate it, you find it a little bit confusing. Um, so what I'll, I'll do, I'll put a link below So and I've also in the introduction in the next part it just shows you how to download patterns um, from my cloud. There's no asking you for emails or money or anything like that, no personal details. Uh, just straight download PDF to your device so that you can you can continue with the pattern. Um, and that's basically it. So um, there's going to be two parts to this because I'm going to make this blanket for my grandchild that's due in April. So um, part one will be the main body of the blanket and then part two, which I'll post a little bit later, will be the border and the embroidery. All right then, so I hope this is useful and helpful. And um, Yolanda, this one's for you. Right, so um, what I'm going to do is just show you how to download the um, pattern. Just go into my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're in my channel, there we are, if you subscribed, there is the uh, free crochet patterns easy. So we're just going to look in there and the pattern is in there, in that list there. Scroll down, the uh, free lazy daisy pattern. There it is. Just close that. And you can see um, it says more there. If you just press that. And if you look on there, you'll see where the file's downloaded, which is in the mega NZ file. Just press the, that link. There's no emails, no required information. It's just a straight link to the pattern. Uh, these are patterns that I've found online that I've just shared with you. That's it. It's as simple as that. So um, you can either, if you've got the Mega app, you can open it in Mega. If not, just download it like I've done. And you can open the file there. And there it is. Um, now, if you struggle, if you're not very technologically minded, you can... Uh, obviously just work from there it's just there but what well, I'll just turn my phone away because my granddaughter's on the front and I don't want to show a photo so if you look in my files if you want to find it again go into my files into downloads and there it is the pdf and you just keep going back into it whenever you want to I'm going to turn it that way so that we can see it Right, so um, this recommends Red Heart um, Soft Baby, three skeins of white, two skeins of blue, crochet hook four millimeter, and then you can check your gauge there if you like. Um, I'm just going to use some baby wool I've got in that recommends a four millimeter hook. I'm not really going to check the gauge. Um, I don't think I'll have to. I think um, blanket sizes, you can, it doesn't matter if, if you're in the ballpark to be honest um, unless you're wanting it you know specifically sized so um, we're going to start the notes there always read everything about the pattern you know always read the notes uh, how it's worked you know about colour changes and things and this is the blanket itself so we're going to be starting uh, by doing the eyelet, eyelet section which is this white section here so with A which is um, uh, it's uh, the colour white, the red heart white. Um, you chain 151, and when you're starting with this sort of edge edging on the blanket here, you want to do it loosely, um, because what will happen is if you don't, if you don't chain loosely on the first row, it ends up quite tight at one end and loose at the other end where you finish off the blanket. So start with a chain of 151. I'm just going to be doing a sample for you. So I'll meet you back here when you've chained loosely 151. Right, so I've chained 
Uh, what you might find useful when you're doing a long number of chains is to put a marker in every 50 chains. That way you can keep track of uh, how many you've done. You know when you get broken off and you think, oh, how many have I done? I'm going to have to start again. Uh, you know, the phone rings. So just put a marker in. I usually do it on every 50 chains just so that I can keep track of uh, how many I've done. <clears throat> right, so we're going to do row, t row one. This is the wrong side. It says double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Beginning uh, chain counts as first double crochet. And each in chain across and then turn. So what that means is we're going to start with a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So that's not including the loop on your hook. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to be starting in this chain now what I like to do I prefer to go into the back bumps it's just my preference um, so I usually count the bumps on the back one two three four and I'm going to work into that first bump there so we'll yarn over and go into the back bump you can work into the front of your chains if that's what you're used to doing that's fine so what that means, uh, the beginning chain counts as the first double crochets. These three that we've skipped here, this is counted as a stitch in the pattern. So I'm going to place a marker on the top here just to um, mark the beginning of the row. And then all you do in the rest of the stitches is double crochet all the way across. And what it's saying is at the end of the row, you should have 149 double crochets. So that's all you need to do. Double crochet all across your chains and count your stitches at the end. And you should have 149 stitches before we begin the pattern. Right, so I'm just coming up to the last stitch on these chains. I'm just going to go into that final back bump there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just count my stitches, make sure I've got 149. It's important that you've got the right amount. And you can see why we've chained loose lace, that we don't want this edge here tight. Um, it's the edge of the blanket because what will happen is this will be tighter and this will be looser when we, we come to the other end. So you don't want a tight bit like that, it will misshape your blanket. So make sure you, you do chain loosely. So uh, I'm going to count the stitches. So this is one, this first chain three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So count all the posts. Make sure you've got 149. And then we'll start row two. Right, so row two says chain three. This counts as the first double crochet throughout the pattern. Um, and then it says skip first double crochet and double crochet in next seven up to this comma here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to chain three. One, two and three. And then we're going to skip the first double crochet, which is this stitch here. We're going to skip this one and work into this second double crochet. So one two three four five six and seven Okay, so then after that it says chain one and skip next double crochet, chain one and skip the next double crochet, which will be this one here. And then we're going to be working into this next one. So next we're going to, um, if you notice on the pattern, it'll have, um, we're, we're up to here now, skip next double crochet. And then you see a little asterisk there. This is means that you're going to be repeating now. 
So we're going to double crochet in the next 11, uh, chain one and skip next double crochet and repeat from asterisk. So what we're going to do next is double crochet now, we've got, so we're skipping this one in the next 11. Okay, so that's 11. Double crochet in next 11 double crochet, chain one and skip next double crochet, which is this one. So we've chained one and we're going to skip this one and work into this one. So it says repeat from asterisk. So that means that what we're going to be doing is 11 double crochets, chain one and skip one. So chain one, skip one and 11. And that's it. That's all you're going to do all across. That's 11 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Chain 1, skip 1 and work into 11 into the next. Alright, so you're just going to repeat that. You can see the eyelets starting to form there. Repeat that and it says repeat from asterisk to asterisk across to last 8 stitches and then double cro crochet in the last 8. <coughs> And when it says 12 chain one spaces, this is so you can check on the row and make sure that you've got these chain one spaces, you've got 12 of them across the row. So that's to help you check uh, to make sure you're on the right track. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep going now and I'll meet you when we get to the last eight stitches. Right, okay, so um, if you remember on the repeats, it's um, double crochet, next 11, chain one, skip, next double crochet, repeat from. So what you should end up with is a skip, next double crochet. That's the last part of the repeat. And then after you've skipped your last one, you'll have eight stitches left. So what I've done, I've done my 11, I've done my 11 double crochets I'm going to chain one and skip one and then I should have eight stitches left one two three four five six seven eight which is correct so all you're going to do now is in these last eight you're going to double crochet to the end Okay, so right at the end now, so double crochet in that stitch, which is your second stitch, and then we're going to do double crochet into the top of this skip chain three that we start with, started with, right at the end there. All right, so that's row two, and what it says is check and make sure you've twelve chain spaces, chain one spaces, which are these one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
and that's it. Right, so row three, it says chain three and skip first double crochet. That I think that's how all the rows will start for this white area. And double crochet in next five double crochets. So let's do that first. So one, two, three. Skip first double crochet, which is this one here. And then we're going to double crochet in the next five. So starting in this second stitch here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then it says chain one and skip next double crochet, double crochet in next double crochet. So we're going to skip this stitch here and double crochet in the top of this next stitch. And then it says double crochet in next chain one space, which is here. And you just go under like so. And that's it. And then double crochet in next double crochet. Then we have another asterisk, so we have another repeat now. We're going to be repeating uh, the same all across again. So chain one, skip the next double crochet stitch and double crochet in the next seven. So skip that one and double crochet in the next seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then it says chain one, skip next double crochet, double crochet in next double crochet. Double crochet in next chain one space which is that one there and double crochet in next double crochet which is that one there and then it's a repeat so you repeat from the asterisk so um, what you do is you're going to repeat that now so you're basically repeating this seven uh, this here you're going to repeat this all across now uh, to the last seven stitches and then it'll tell you what to do in the last seven so your next, uh, your next uh, repeat is chain one, skip one, and double crochet seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then you're going to chain one and skip one and double crochet in this next stitch and then you're going to double crochet in the chain one space and double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one and double crochet seven so one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you can see the pattern building here now. So then after your seven, same again, chain one, skip one, one double crochet, double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch and make your hole <laughs> as it was, chain one, skip one and seven. Alright, so repeat that all the way across to the last seven stitches 
<coughs> and then we'll look at what it instructs us to do in the last seven stitches. Right, so I'm down to my last seven stitches and uh, the repeat ends with a chain, a double crochet in the chain one space and then a double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have seven stitches left at the end. And then it tells you uh, to, across the last seven stitches, chain one, skip the next double crochet and then double crochet in the last six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, <coughs> And then in that chain three there, you need to just double crochet into the top of the tape chain three. They can be a bit fiddly these. End stitches. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So uh, what it tells you is you should have uh, 24 now chain one spaces on this row. So you can count your spaces to make sure. Um, so row four is pretty much the same. You're just building up the um, the eyelet pattern there. You can see it on the picture. So we've started here. See it better here. Started here and we've done these two. So your next two will be out here. And then you'll just keep building it um, according to the instructions on the pattern. So that goes on for eight rows. So row eight... Um, is the last of the repeat so what it does is it says rows 9 to 14 are repeating rows 3 to 8 so you start again from row 3 and go down to row 8 again and then row 15 um, I'll meet you when you have finished row 14 and we'll go on to row 15 which is actually a colour change row. So I'll meet you back here when you've finished row 14. Okay, so I've just finished uh, row 14, which was the repeat rows of 3 and 8. And now I'm on row 15. So you should have something looking a bit like this. And um, what I realised... Uh, whilst doing this was that it was much easier just to count uh, the posts and the chain spaces after you'd started a, a row so you start a row and then you do a repeat and then what you can see is how many posts are between the um, chain spaces so in this case is 11 and there's a chain space so you can do chain space count 11 chain space and you can do that on all the rows and it's just a bit easier to make it uh, to read the pattern rather than keep having to keep referring back to the pattern. So in this row before, and this was row seven, there was one, two, three, chain space, and then seven, chain space, three, chain space, seven, chain, like that. So it just makes it easier to, um, to do the pattern. So we're on row 15 now, and row 15 is just double crochet. Um, this is kind of, it's a symmetric pattern, so we're kind of doing a, a row of double crochet to finish off. So it's um, chain three and skip the first stitch as we did before. Uh, but the difference is with this row is that we're going to be doing um, a colour change. So start the row as we did before, chain three, one, two, three miss this first stitch and then just double crochet all across um, the stitches and in the chain one spaces and just check your stitches still to make sure you've got 149 stitches at the end making sure you count this chain three as one of your stitches So you'll need a new colour at the end of this row, this row 15. So all in the chain spaces and uh, as we did before and then in the stitches. 
Okay, so keep going until you re the, reach the end and I'll show you how to change the colour at the end of this row. So I'm coming up to the end of uh, row 15 and it tells you on the pattern um, that you've got to change to the to B in the last stitch and to check your stitches that you've still got 149. So I'm just coming up here onto the last stitch which will be this chain three here and it's quite easy to chain color, what you, uh, change colour. What you're going to do is make an unfinished double crochet so go through your two loops and but leave the two on your your hook and then hook round uh, your new colour leave a decent tail so you can sew that in later just hook that onto your hook and pull it through and that's it that's a colour change so we're going to turn now and 16 row 16 now it's telling you to work with the uh, contrasting colour, colour B, and you're going to just single crochet now across this first uh, row. So hang on to your tail and chain one, and then we're not going to skip this stitch, we're going to work into the very first stitch uh, because we don't actually work into the turning chains in single single crochet generally speaking so you need to you work into that very first stitch so single crochet now all across on that first row just hang on to your tails while you uh, while you get sort of secure and this row is just all single crocheting across okay so, uh, so nearly, nearly double crochet then single crochet all the way across with your contrasting colour now and I'll meet you here for the next row which will be row 17 so I'm just going to the end of row 16 and you can see all the single crochets there so we'll just work a single crochet now in that top of that chain 3 and uh, we'll turn. So row 17, eh, we're changing to um, double crochets by the looks of it. And if you look on the pattern, just to get the pattern there, you can see that the border has eyelets on the edge and it's kind of a little bit more solid in between. So this is what we're going to be making now. So, uh, row 17, we're going to kind of switch to double crochet to make the eyelets. So we need to chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to skip the first stitch as we did before on the other, do uh, other do uh, double crochet rows. Skip the first stitch and double crochet in the next. So skip this first single crochet and double crochet into there. And it's just a chain one skip, chain one and skip a stitch and then double crochet in the next. It's just really quite simple actually. Okay and that's all it is, chain one and skip to the last double crochet stitch. So you've got like these eye sort of repeated eyelets all across there so 17 um, you should have 73 chain spaces at the end of it so count your chain spaces 18 19 20 21 all seems pretty straightforward um, it seems that there's, there's a mixture of uh, single crochet and uh, double crochet in these sort of blue border areas so um, I'll let you get on with that and uh, basically on row 23 uh, you're starting the whole process again from the white so um, that's it really for the main part body of the blanket what I will do is um, I'll post another video about the putting on the border. I've got to make the blanket first. I was going to do a sample, but I like it, so I'm going to carry on making it. Um, and so I will put, post a video later on about um, how to make the border and put the border in. won't take me long. Um, and that's it. And if you have any questions, just drop me a line on uh, YouTube. I'll be happy to answer any questions. 
and so i'll see you soon with part two of this video